Welcome to this short video on add station and offsets to points. The add station and offset to points command allows you to add a station and offset to any point inside the Civil 3D drawing. These points then can be displayed in a table to show you the station and offset and they are dynamic. To demonstrate this, I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon and I'm going to select add station and offset to points. You get this little dialog box come up. Up here at the top, we have select points. We have four options, either a selection on screen, all the points, a group of points, or numbers. If I select on one of these, then the different option is available to me. So I'm gonna go to the selection. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna click a couple points on the screen here. So 20, 21, and 22. And I'm gonna press enter. Down in the bottom area, we have our select alignment. So we can specify two separate alignments that we want to add a station and offset to. I can either select it from the drop down list or I can click on the icon where I can pick the alignment. So I'm going to select this alignment. I'm not going to set a secondary alignment, but if I wanted to, I could do the same thing. Either select it from the drop down or pick it on screen. One other thing I want to show here is if I go here to settings, I get the settings dialog box. Here I can either add a prefix or a suffix to both the left side and the right side. Currently I've got a suffix set for L for left and R for right. I'm going to go OK here and I'm going to go OK here. Now just to show you what I've done, if I select any point here, I'm going to right click and go to edit points. In my panorama, if I slide the bar over to the far right hand side, so down here at the end, you can see I've got a reference alignment. I've got the offset one. I got a suffix and I also have the station value. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. And we're going to create a table from this. So I'm going to go to the annotate tab. I'm going to go to add tables and I'm going to go add point table. I'm going to select my table here. So I've created one called station offset. This is something that you need to do because everybody's will be different. I'm going to select on this and I'm going to select those three points. And now I'm just going to go OK. If I zoom out here, there's the table that I've created. Now if I come in here and select this point 22 and I grab it, I move that point around, you can see the station offset update. I'll escape here. This concludes this short video on add station offset to points. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.